Welcome to my first cringe compilation. But before we get into that, let's salute our troops. I'd like to dedicate this performance to all my brothers and sisters in the armed forces. They're able to be here with their friends and family and are putting their lives in harm's way so that we can be with ours. That was... Great. Anyways, the next two are animations. Both had no music, so I put in my own music. This last video is long. An NLP fag teaches his class on how to be a brony. Sure, we're going to start now. Right, this is my presentation of a demonstration as well. Okay, and I've been trying very hard to keep all of you in the dark about that, and you'll see in a second. Alright, I'll give you a few clues quick. What is it? Well, it's a very awesome show. It's very colorful. It's been around since the 1990s. It has some good lessons at the end of it. I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about Power Rangers. I'm going to show you how to be a Power Ranger today. No, not really. I'm joking. Come on, guys. You should know me better than that. No, I'm actually talking about My Little Pony. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking right now. Yeah, what Spike says. But really, it's not as bad a show as some of you would probably make it out to be right away. And I'm sure a lot of you, because I did this too, I'm sure a lot of you are probably carrying hate from the last seasons, because you didn't like those, and honestly, I did not either. So, there have been four series, or generations, as what some people would call it. The first one was kind of adventurous with dragons and orcs. It really was not that great. The second one was a high school drama of girls getting boyfriends, and enough said. The third one, I don't even know. I just know it's sort of a combination of the last two, and it didn't work out so great. The version 3.5 was when they were little babies, and that didn't work out so great. Now, generation four is what I'm talking about. Why is this one different? Well, it had good animations. The problems of the stories were very unique and very awesome. Each character had its very own unique uh, quali qualities and problems that they had to face. The lessons at the end were very good and very life uh, important. And soon the, the population of this series grew. Oh, shoot. I clicked back. All right. So, what is a brony? A brony is a word that was created by the fans of a combination of the words bro and pro pony equaling brony. This is normally given to them to men and teens who like the show. Their ages, their ages range from about 16 to 40, or sometimes even older. Some girls who are fans of the show also like to be called bronies, but some of them prefer Pegasus, which is Pegasus and Sister. Now, how can, I, how can you become one too? Well, I did some research and there's about three different types. There's a minimal requirement where you just watch the first season and you pick a favorite pony of the six. Uh, there's a standard brony, which they watch season two as well. They sometimes collect some of the action figures, uh, you have to tell your friends about it, and of course you have to collect wear shirts about it too. This isn't a good example. No, it's not mine. It's too small. This is mine. <laughs> and of course, you also have to collect the action figures. These are not mine. These are my sister's. This one's mine. <laughs> and more advanced pony is someone who watches the season three as well. No, not you. Someone who watches season three as well as a few other things. Oh, come on, stop going back. <laughs> now, what is your adva an advanced brony? Well, there's, three, there's about three different main types that I've seen. One, they can create music of their own creativity from, based on their love for the show. There's fan art, of course, and they make their own videos as well. Now, the music department, as I would call it, these guys watch the show, they can become inspired by characters or just something that they found in it, and they decide to make a song from it. Some examples are Discord and 20% Cooler. The art department. These guys are inspired by the creativity and the animation of the series and, put, and make their own versions, like the one on the bottom. Or some people who like the series and want to make a combination of it, such as the Avengers picture up there. Now the film department. These guys are the most talented of the three, I believe. They go out and they make their own custom uh, stories and animations of the series. And they're really good. Like the top one, Snowdrop. That's about 15 minutes on YouTube. It's a very emotional story created by a fan. One of the bottoms more humorous about Fluffy Puff, which is an extremely fluffy pony, doing some adventures. And as where there are some positives, there are also some negatives. And I've seen some of them, and they are questionable at best. <laughs> now, simple bronies. Well, these guys are basically your typical fans for anything. They would just go out, wear the merchandise, watch the series, collect ponies, whatever. And these guys also do something else unique. They name characters. These guys are all characters who just sit around in the background and do nothing. 
But they, they notice some of these guys and actually take the time to give them names, like Doctor Who, Spinal Scratch, Octavia, Derpy, the list goes on, frankly. Now, with every series, with everything on the internet nowadays, there's going to be trolls and there's going to be haters. I'm sure a few of you are in here right now. Now, uh, why do they hate us? I honestly have no idea. Well, I went and I tried to do a little bit of research. Well, from what I, I came up with three main reasons. They either don't like it because they think we're trying to enforce on their manhood or something.